Hi, I'm Joel Gibbs. This is a fantastic, wonderful event filled with fun, filled with warmth, filled with love, filled with oyster juice and lemon and cocktail sauce all over the place and all for a wonderful cause, the continued efforts of the support of breast cancer research, Susan G. Coleman to the cure. Fun today. Hope you enjoy it. For myself, I'm just not. I'm not on a team or anything, but uh, we did it. We saw the uh, the whole idea of the oyster bowl. We thought it was really great, and the uh, you know the raising money for for the cure is great. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, I heard the record was like 102. I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere near that, but we'll see. We're so excited. It's our 13th oyster bowl, and over 12 years, Blue Point Grill, Nassau Street Seafood has raised 170 thousand dollars, and we're so grateful for the outpouring of support from Blue Point Grill, their whole team. Steve Murray, Jack Morrison, everybody who's associated with it, they're so excited, they're so generous, and they're so committed. All the money that gets raised helps provide mammograms for women in Central and South Jersey. This is the uh, 13th. And we're, we're opening so 80 boxes, 8,000 oysters. We're fully registered. It just gets better. I can't believe it. You know, we were on two radio programs and uh, TV down in Philadelphia Channel, CBS Channel 3. So it continues. And here's Faith. Faith, when did you start working with us? 1999. 1999 I'm when not we opened. Not just an oyster bowl yet. She comes back and works every year. She's now a doctor. Yes. And God bless. And then we have, you know. I'm here if anybody breaks down right. after eating too many oysters. That's medical history. That's He's the man. Oyster Bowl 12, Bill Forrest. He won it all. How many? 87. 87. Hey, Murray. He's the man that makes everything here happen. Let's give it to Steve. Yeah. Purple Haze, you're up! Crystal Miles Swim and Robert Wood Johnson! You ready for some slurping? Three, two, one, go! Oyster Bowl, 13, has officially begun! Joe, how is it down there? You can tell this thing. 10 seconds, round one, 10 seconds! Five, four, three, you're up, I'm ready! I just went fast. How about you got? 52, 52. I'm inspired by my cousin Kathy. Glad to be here. Uh, good. It's still sitting on my stomach, but it's good. This is the 13th uh, Oyster Bowl. It's my 13th time. It's good friend Jack Moore in his first time. The Oyster Bowl, which the uh, for nanosecond award to the winner was made by my wife. Do you know what you're getting yourself into? I think I can have as few as I want, so I think I'm okay. What is it? 70 is my goal. 60 oysters. 60. Uh, I think I'd like to get to like 40. So my goal is not to throw up, to be quite frank. Fourth or fifth year judging. Um, Listen, we just want the oysters to be chewed and consumed. Had a few people that weren't able to keep them down. Please let me introduce you to the gentleman who hosts this wonderful event every year here at the Blue Point Grill. Please give a very, very big hand to our friend Jack Morrison. 13 years. It's, it's uh, this miraculous. It's incredible. I was saying we were on TV this week, and I was saying that the uh, the first event had. Uh, Six contestants. We wrote a check to Steve Hellman for uh, $200. And in 12 years, we've now raised $170,000. And, and I say we, it's you. This is right here. Gordon Pearl. Gordon Pearl. 250 as a team. Do you like oyster? Yes. 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 I've only eaten one in my life. I've eaten them once before, yeah. but it was a really good oyster. Uh, do you think you're the winning team? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Jeremy is the guy that decided to have some oysters with his cocktail sauce. For the fantastic killer oyster eater, Fisa Friedman! 2009, 2010, and 2011. How did you do those three years? I was the champ of the women's division. 51 oysters in 60 seconds, so I, this is great. It's fun. I'd love to win again. If I don't, then you know what? It's all for a good cause. Mom to do today. 
102 oysters. First of all, I'd like to just take a minute and thank everybody that's in here. I don't know how many shuckers we have today, but I'll bet you 20, 22. I have a bunch of dear, dear friends and great employees, and we are a family, and we're here to support this great cause. But most importantly, you are my family, and thank you. I mean that. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to tell you, in between heats, what everyone is playing for, what that grand prize is, it's pretty special. Three, two, one. You can see by the crowd today that there's a lot of support here for standing with families that have faced breast cancer, for detecting, preventing, stopping breast cancer. Thanks for doing this. Tell everybody your name. Jason was here last year. As you can see, he has mounted a personal digital video camera to his cranium. Would you please welcome now the executive director of Central South Jersey chapter of Susan G. Komen for the cure, the lovely Nancy Healy. You guys always bring great weather, so thank you so much. Thank you to Jack, Steve, their whole team here at Blue Point Grill, Nassau Street Seafood, for always supporting us. They've shucked over 61,000 oysters in 13 wow. years. Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> Updated report. I just want to thank our sponsors first, Choice Bank, Warden Perlman, and a special thank you to Debbie Schaefer from Mrs. G's. We had six kids come and paint retired refrigerators uh, at Mrs. G's, uh, and what they had to do is they had to, at least in the, in, while they're painting the refrigerator, have the pink ribbon. Well, it says fight like a girl, but a girl's on the bottom. And it was unbelievable. And for each boat, Mrs. G's donated a dollar for each boat, and it turns out that there were 89,000 boats. And the winner is here today. Her name is Dara Kelly. She's 11 years old. Hi, Dara. Hi. This is exciting for you. Yes. That's great. Well, you're a sweetheart, and we appreciate everything you've done for us. Three, two, one. <laughs> Jenna and Lexi, like virtually clear, they're a little trait. Terrific young ladies. Good job, girl. Good job. There's no way I'm going to beat 83. Uh, I've been seeing different techniques, and uh, I don't know which one I'm going to probably go with. I think I'm just going to like loosen it up and just go with the shell, because that way it won't drop. And take a look. Playing hardball hey, with the big guy. Jack. Say this with incredible, genuine respect. These are our official octogenaria <laughs> contestants. Here we go with special coverage by Oyster Camp. In two, one, here we go. Actually, do a little bit better than 66. My personal best is 88. But thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, giving me the uh, support that I needed to to move the way that I needed to move. Uh, it was good, but same thing. I only got 72. Here for the cause. What's it like for you. I mean, just you have a technique. I do. Wait, wait. Maybe we should keep this a secret. I really just want everyone to have success in their eating, and so I just want to share my, my wisdom that I've picked up over the last two years. More cocktail sauce. Hey, tell, what's your tip? I have three beers, loosens me up, ready to go. Grab two at a time, throw, just keep going. Future Oyster Bowl contenders, you, you, know, you want to follow this guy's lead. This guy was in Wing Bowl just a couple of days ago. Big TV star now, Paul Billy, CBS 3. 200, how many? 225 wings, fifth place. 225 wings, here he is two days later, right now, at Oyster Bowl, looking to be 
I'm just gonna just grab them one by one and shovel them in as fast as I can. And so you feeling strong? I feel good for today. I'm going for a hundred. Going for a hundred. Eighty-seven. I mean, really, what's that? Just enough to have you to win Oyster Bowl twelve. He's going for a hundred. Thinks he's gonna take it. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Oyster Bowl. I'm ready to take the title. Please give it up for the fantastic killer oyster eater, Theza Friedman, for the Euro Women's Division. And let's just remember the pace that she was on at CBS3 on Talk Philly uh, actually was a pace for her to take it all. Oyster Bowl 12 overall number one winner, Bill Farris! What you're about to see can only be seen in a twilight zone episode. Three, two, one, go! Artist, one of the refrigerators inside from the pink fridge contest is going to pick the winner of the flat screen TV. She's not looking, she's feeling a good one. Tara, let's see who it is. The winner of a big flat screen TV courtesy of Mrs. G's and Deb Schaefer is Trisha Meyer. Have you ever won anything before? Everybody there stares to face the big winner in the raffle. Give it up for Trisha Meyer. All right, dinner for four at Blue Point Grill. And but the winner of the Corporate Heats, Corporate Division, Oyster Bowl 13, 2012, is the gang from Team Mathematica. Golf for four, Adelsa Polana. Congratulations. All of you, let's do the winner of the men's division. Winner of the men's division, the champion Bill Fire. The winner of the women's division. Take a deep breath. Give it up for Lizzie McDaniel. The winner, 2012, Oyster Bowl, 13. Three times. Let's get going crazy. To, going to Cancun. And going to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Here it goes, Lizzie McDowell. When we beat breast cancer, the world is a winner. Thank you all for everything you've done. We'll see you next year at Super Bowl Sunday for Oyster Bowl 14. It feels great. Kitakana, I've got to meet my fiance over there. Are you the fiance? Yeah.
wish I could say I helped, but that was all her. That was all Lizzie. This year is great. Did a little better than last year. I had fun and it's for a great cause and everything, so I'm real happy with it, what I did. I did 30 better than last year. Um, I'm disappointed, but guess what? It was for the cause, it was fun, and I'll be back to it next year. I feel great. I feel great. I'm a little disappointed, but she killed it. So what can I say? It's all good. I'll just come back with it next year. Um, it was good, but it was looked disgusting. 71 was the number, so I'm feeling good. And matter of fact, eating the same oyster in a different variety right now. <laughs> so I broke my personal best record. I ate 52 oysters. I broke 50. I'm happy. It's a wrecking ball helmet, and this is the uh, pearl of the sea version. And uh, what we do is bring smiles and bring awareness to uh, breast cancer. Nancy Healy and Monica Smith are here from Susan G. Komen for the cure. Lucky 13, Lucky 13. is yeah, over. Yeah. Give us some thoughts about it. It was today. just terrific. The, the crowd was the best ever. There was a lot of energy and just a lot of fun. It was terrific. Monica, what about you? Everything we do is to beat breast cancer, early detection. We love the support of everybody here in Princeton and the surrounding communities. That's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, we're just having a great time here today. It was a great event. It was amazing. It was great. Are you going to participate next year? Yeah. Yes? My goal is 40. Lauren, how did you do? Uh, so you're happy with what you have uh, raised for the cure, right? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. We'll see you next year? Yep. All right. 50, 50 oysters and 500 bucks. So it was a good day. Absolutely the best that we've ever had. I, I'm sure you saw it. Survivors, uh, people that are fighting the battle, people that are here in memory of. That I think we just it just renewed our faith in, in what people and community are all about. I feel great. It was a good cause. Two of my favorite causes. You know. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> it's not gonna be on TV. Or so how long have you been dumping the oysters in your driveway? It's been 14 years. And why do you have them dumped them in your driveway? To build up a driveway. <laughs> you go down on the shore and you'll see every driveway looks like this. You're not allowed to take them from the shore, so unless you eat them first. There you go. That is we do. Uh, at the police station, where they have, you know, a, a big map of all the lots in the borough. Uh, this one is marked as the one with the oyster shells in the driveway. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, the one? Yeah. <laughs>